Thirsty Thursday time. The biggest beer tasting event west of Portland is returning for its second year. Yeah, Hillsbrew Fest kicks off next week in Hillsborough. It's on Friday. Now breweries and cider makers from across Oregon taking part in this three-day event. Now joining us in studio are two participating businesses. We have Josh Johnson back in studio, the co-owner of Binary Brewing. We also have Savannah Weeks joining us with the Portland Cider Company. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Morning. Thanks Glad you're here. here. Thanks for yeah. having us. Um, well, this is your second year participating in uh, in the Hills Brew Fest. Uh, what was the experience like the first time around? It was spectacular. It's a ton of fun to get everybody to come out to the west side and kind of explore that part of uh, of, of the city and, mm -hmm. and enjoy beers out there. It was a really great event. Nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's nice to, to not have to drive into Portland for our friends in the West Metro. Yeah. And if you're in Portland, it's not too far from the Max Line, right? Not at all. So yeah. you no, can get right lots of there. parking as uh -huh. well. One of the benefits uh, compared to some of the other brew fests. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Good right. Call. Absolutely. Good call. So Savannah, is this Portland Cider Company's first year? Yes, it's our first year. We're very excited. Mm -hmm. We're pouring our brand new Mango Mimosa. Mimosa, so Ooh, uh, yeah, it'll be a good one. Okay, tell us a little bit about Mango yes, Mimosa. So it's very fruity, very refreshing, perfect for the Oregon winter. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping you in your when tropical vibes. You need a little yeah. sunshine yeah. in a glass, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so we're excited to have it on tap. That'll oh, that's awesome. That's a good one to start with. That's, yes. a, that's a morning brew. That is a, that is a <laughs> morning is. one. It is. Most of morning. Yeah. We love what, it. What about for you, Josh? Is there anything new that you have uh, brewed up at Hills, for Hills Brew this year? Yeah, or? we're going to be bringing our 404 Nut Brown. Uh, it's a real classic English-style brown ale. Also um, going with the tropical theme, I see. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. You know, nor Northern <laughs> England known for its lovely winters. Yes, uh, yeah. It's lovely palm winters. trees and yeah. coconuts, yes. Yeah. So it's a really nice uh, kind of kind of maltier ale, real traditional, um, mm -hmm. but actually perfect for late winter yeah um yeah. I, I love the balance. I love one that's for the season and one that makes you think of the season to come. Right. I think that's great. Yeah, I think that's wonderful. Totally. Well, how, how cool is it, Savannah, to get to come and be, uh, you know, at an event like this with all these different things? Yeah. Like, it must kind of get you in front of some, some new members in the community, too. Yeah, it's awesome. It's been super great, especially for our new West Side pub. Mm -hmm. um, having that exposure and meeting all those really cool vendors, it's super fun to make those connections. Um, yeah, we love it. Yeah, it, it does seem, and, and maybe both can speak to this, uh, that it's been really nice to have this event on the west side, like you've mentioned, Emily, where, you know, obviously beer festivals have been largely in Portland. Right. Obviously, there's the iconic one, uh, uh, Brewfest, you know, Oregon's uh, Brewers Festival that is not happening now this year yeah. in downtown Portland on the waterfront. But you normally see this stuff in Portland. What, what does it mean to have it expand to the west side? A little more accessible? Are you seeing new, different people? Is it a different crowd out there? Well, as one of uh, as, as a West Side brewery, it's really great to see a little bit more representation over mm -hmm. there, yeah, sure. um, and to kind of remind people that we're brewing beer on both sides of the river. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so mm -hmm. it's it's great for us that have a have a really fun pub over there. Um, yeah, it's fun to see it expand too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been typically yeah. on the other Do side. Do you guys know how many how many beers are going to be on on tap this this year? If, is there a total it's number? 70. 70. Yeah, wow. 70 wow. rotating. And then beer, okay. cider, and I think it's the um, seltzers, too. Oh, my a few gosh. Of those, so that's super fun. Wow. So many yeah. things to check out. Well, and so we were showing some pictures of last year's event. Josh, since you were there last year, uh, tell us a little bit about the space that you're in there on the fairgrounds. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty traditional beer setup where you have, you know, kind of the different booths around. You can roll around and, uh -huh. and see it. Um, it's great for the vendors because we kind of get a seal of our old friends again. There's a little bit of a hiatus of uh, catching up with your industry, industry folk. Uh -huh. uh, so it was great to do that and then have the ability to sort of rub elbows with with the general public and You're see what they're enjoying. You're kind of scoping out everybody's lines across the, <laughs> yeah. across the exactly. room. Like, okay, exactly. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's great. That's great. Uh, mm -hmm. You also were able to put to rest the Zwickle. We were talking about the Zwickle oh, before. Yeah, Zwickle yeah. we, we have somebody who actually knows what a Zwickle is. Yeah, you can confirm. I can confirm. <laughs> uh, it is Zwickle. It's basically a fancy word for faucet. Uh, great. And yeah, we'll, we'll be t uh, partaking of Zwickle Mania on Saturday at Binary Brewing as well. So it's going to be a wild, fun one. It's our first time doing that in our brand new uh, brewery. So that'll oh, be really awesome. cool to get to open up those doors and let people come in and see this gorgeous, beautiful custom brew house we've just finished. Well, fun. Well, now Super I can fun. go and not embarrass myself because I know what a Zwickle is. So <laughs> yeah. there you go. There's going to be a pop quiz <laughs> after the after the tasting. Oh my yeah. gosh, right? Well, hey, so do people need to get tickets? Tickets in advance for next weekend for Hillsboro. What should what should they know about the event? Uh, yeah, there should be, you can get tickets advance online or okay. I believe day of as well. Day of, mm -hmm. okay, awesome. Yeah, very cool. Just yeah. put it on your calendar for next weekend. Beer and be cider available yeah. to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, Josh and Savannah, thank you both for joining us. Great to have you here. Yeah, thank have you fun guys. this weekend. Have fun at Hillsboro. Yes, we will. <laughs> it's a big it's a big month for all of our Oregon brewers. And again, if you want to get your tickets right now for Hillsboro Fest, it's happening next Friday, February twenty fourth through Sunday the twenty sixth. It's being held at the Wingspan Event Center in Hillsboro, and that's at the Washington County. 
Fairgrounds, go to hillsbrewfest.com to buy tickets and learn more.